Hey guys, it's Ainsley and I'm basically back with a video showing you how I turn this hot mess that I've been wearing in a ponytail to a braid out. So we are definitely about to do something with this hair because I cannot keep wearing ponytails for the rest of the week. So the products that I'm going to be using is my Cantu um, Shea Butter for Natural Hair and this is the Conditioning Creamy Hair Lotion. And other than that, I'm going to be using some coconut oil. And last but not least, I'm going to be using some Bota H2O to get this hair some moisture and... Uh, kind of put some life back to it because like I said I don't want to keep putting my hair in a ponytail because I don't want to start breaking and I want to make sure that you know I'm treating my hair as well as possible so if you want to see how I turn this hair into a lovely braid out please continue to watch the next clip so I'm going to start off by spraying a little bit of water into my hair. Not a lot because I don't want my hair to be damp, but I want it to be wet enough where the products can get into my hair and it can actually start to moisturize my hair. So just a little bit of water, then I'm going to use my Cantu hair lotion and on top of that I'm going to use some coconut oil to seal in that moisture. And then I'm going to cornrow the front of my hair. And I like to cornrow the front section of my hair because I believe it gives me more definition in the front. Rather than cornrowing the back because, you know, the back is okay. But I want more of a definition in the front of my hair. Once I get to the end of my hair, I'm going to spray a little bit more water. And then I'm going to twist the ends because I find that braiding all the way to the end of my hair in particular, um, it causes my hair to tangle. So by twisting it, I find it much, much easier to unravel and I get less tangled. You will also notice that throughout my entire braid out process, I am not using a comb to part my hair. And the reason is because it is much easier to disguise your parts and to blend your hair together when you use your fingers as your comb. Rather than using a comb to part, it's harder to get rid of those parts and you can kind of see where you parted your hair and it's not you know no one wants to see parted braid out so it's if you definitely are looking for an easier way to disguise your parts try using your fingers as your comb and you will definitely see a big difference in your braid out Okay guys, so I am finished braiding my hair and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine braids in my hair and these are how my ends are looking. They're starting to curl up a little bit and by the morning they're going to be pretty much curled. So this is basically what I do when I'm tired of wearing ponytails and I just want to um, mention that my hair is moisturized and I can actually look presentable for the rest of the week instead of just wearing ponytails or and just putting a lot of tension on my edges and you know around the back of my hair and so this is just how I kind of wear my hair throughout the week I'll just 
do some braids and then go ahead and make it into a braid so this is on stretched hair i did not blow dry my hair i just washed my hair put it in two braids just took the braids out put it into a ponytail and that's pretty much how it was going so this is how uh, my hair looks stretched so these are my braids and I'm going to come back the next morning to show you how they look. So stay tuned for the final results. And I am ready to take these braids down and show you the results of my braid out. So the only thing that I'm going to be using today is my lot of body um, control me edge control and a toothbrush. I am not going to be adding any products to my hair for the takedown because this is one of the reasons why I love coconut oil so much is because my hair is still super 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 moisturized super super moisturized so I don't need to add any more products to my hair like at all so let's get ready for the takedown I just want to show you my hands I don't know if you can see the shine that my hair has just from coconut oil this is why I am definitely going back to coconut oil I mean don't get me wrong I love my olive oil but the coconut oil really stays in your hair it really keeps your hair super super shiny and super moisturized so yes child Let's go ahead and take off this side. to braid cornrows in the front of my hair rather than um, all over so you can see like the waves start from the root of the hair up but in the back it kind of starts like about two to three inches down so I like the front of my hair to have more definition and the back you know the back can start from whatever but I like the front to have more up to the root of the hair so this is why I like to coral my hair starting I mean at least in the front section then the back so I'm gonna take my fingers and just lightly cover any parts and that's also another reason why I don't part my hair with a comb because it's so much more easier to um, disguise the hair disguise the parts when you don't use a comb you just kind of part it with your hand so now I'm just going to just go in and just kind of lightly separate the hair. 
just lightly, not causing too much frizz. Not too much separation going on, just a little bit. Okay. This is how it's looking so far. And I'm going to show you the back. Very light. Not heavy at all. So now I'm going to take my edge control with my toothbrush and just go ahead and lay these baby hairs down. You know? Not nothing fancy, I just kind of lay it down like that. That's pretty much it for my braid out. And to keep and preserve this style, I'm going to be wearing my hair in a bonnet for, well, in a pineapple. And just place my bonnet on top of that. But that's it, you guys. My hair is so moisturized. I wish you can see this shot. I don't know if you can see it. But my hair is super shiny, super lightweight. Um, my ends feel amazing. Like, I'm definitely going back to my coconut oil, especially for the um, winter time and the colder months because, you know, your hair gets super dry in those months. So, definitely getting back up on my coconut oil. Yeah, yes. But, this is it so far. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Oops. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try your braid out on stretched hair. This stretched hair braid out is giving me life. But like I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. Till next time.